Welcome to the BIF Talks of this 35th Braunschweig International Film Festival. My name is Clara Hense and I have the great privilege and pleasure to be holding the BIF Talks with actors, directors and other guests of this festival. The BIF Talks, this is an open discussion format. We want to get a closer look at the films we will be showing at this festival and we want to get to know the people behind them. And with me here is Giovanni Aloy. Hello, welcome. Hello, hello. Uh, you're here with the film The Third War, La Troisième, Troisième Guerre. Sorry, my French is not the best. Uh, why this title? After the, um, the terrorist attack in 2015, the Prime Minister of France told uh, we are in war against terrorism. Then I get this, uh, this word from, uh, from his sentence and I, I thought it would sound good in a way to say the third war. Uh, but the, the, film, the film talks about uh, young soldiers, not a big war like you can imagine from the title, but uh, more an interior war of a uh, young soldier trying to find a reason why they are in the streets of Paris, dressed like real soldiers, with a real gun in their hands, but without any real meanings to be there. And I imagine it to be very hard to deal with this topic in France right now still because this is the reality lived on the streets, right? Patrols in the streets and army on the streets still. Um, yeah. How do you deal with that? How were reactions in France to this film? I mean, uh, uh, how I deal with it, I deal, uh, when, when I do a film I try to, do, to, to, to show a personal way, to show it in a personal way. So my, my point of view was the one of the soldier, a young soldier, uh, that try to discover the city through his eyes of a foreigner, so of a guy coming from a village uh, far from Paris. He comes in Paris and uh, he enters the army and he think, uh, finally the army is not what he expects. Because uh, we, everybody used to see you know, war movies, American war films, uh, with a lot of action, but he finds himself in uh, inaction. So that's uh, something that starts burning inside this guy. And in this film, he's trained to have a special attention on the surrounding of him, on the city. And how did you choose to portray this very special attention to the details, I mean, uh, in a cinematographic way? I mean, I, I wanted, to, I wanted to, to show Paris in a war dress as well, uh, because Paris is usually shown in movies like a, a romantic city, etc. I want to show in a more dark way, in a darker way. So I choose to, to, to shoot something in Jardin de Luxembourg, that is a very popular, like, touristy place, as well in La Défense, it is more like a business district, etc. Um, in other uh, more, like, popular area districts, like... Uh, La Banlieue, tout ça. I, I wanted to, to show different parts of Paris. And um, yeah, I, I wanted to, to use a lot the point of view of my character. So in the film, there's a lot of uh, um, close up of his face, and, uh, the, um, and after in the, in the editing, there's the, his point of view on the CD. It's very, it's like a uh, voyage with him, you know, traveling with his eyes through the CD. Uh, searching for a kind of uh, invisible enemy. That is another very important topic for, uh, for, uh, for me in this film. There's one line I really like in this film, which is, if you choose not to look, you won't see anything. I mean this by the special kind of attention. Does, does this soldier indeed then chooses to look? Yeah, of course. Um, he has a lot. Of, he has a lot. He has to pay attention because he's the the mission. Actually, we are talking about a, a mission that involves a lot of uh, militaries in France. Um, I have to say that in France, uh, the army is the third employer in the state after Carrefour and McDonald. So it's like huge uh, the the amount of soldiers that try to to find a, you know, a reason, a work in uh, in the army. So, yeah, he's trying to find an enemy, in a way. He's trying to find an enemy, but he doesn't have, 
is not even allowed as a military, like uh, by law, to ask the the ID of somebody in the streets. It, it doesn't have any any real power. So you get frustrating more and more. Uh, so you, uh, to add something to, for for the sentence you said, I can say, you you have eyes to see and mind to forget. Uh, but his mind does not forget. His mind uh, like uh, add more and more things, and uh, it get kind of rage and this uh, this feeling, this envy of action. He wanna in the end he wanna do something to to feel himself uh, helpful, to feel himself uh, somebody, uh, and uh, because yeah, in this film we are talking really about. We, we don't say it in the movie, but we can feel it watching it. We are talking about people from uh, popular uh, uh, families, uh, like we can say poors, trying to, to, to find something that let film themselves somebody. And somebody get more like, uh, it's okay, I, I, I will leave, I, I, don't, I, I don't really care, you know, I, I do my job, I get my money, it's fine. For him it's something more. You want to feel somebody for the main character. You were talking about points of view earlier, and in this film we can see those soldiers playing video games, right? Of soldiers, of, of shooters, basically. Why did you choose to include that? Well, because uh, I have I have a, a, a close friend of mine, uh, which I started doing short films, like uh, I can say maybe uh, 15 years ago. Then uh, last time I met him, so cinema is dead. Now it's only video games, you know. And uh, so I think, yeah, video games is very something very buzzing at the moment. It's something very, very a, a really important topic because young generation live more through video games than through reality. Sometimes uh, they don't even watch football games anymore. You know, that's for me is incredible. I mean, they, they play, but video games about football, but they don't support any team. Uh, there's something, you know, uh, there, there's more and more distance from reality. And there's somebody that can, uh, can deal with it and find a pleasure with it. There's somebody that still want to fight in reality against uh, somebody invisible or more visible or, you know, more, uh, that's it. I was wondering how you portray masculinity in this film, because the army per se is some kind of very patriotic system, right? Yeah. And how men fit themselves into this system. Yeah, men, uh, how, do they, how do they feel? Actually, actually, all this, uh, this macho, macho side of the army was, uh, was some, something we, we, we get from interviews. We did a lot of interviews to, to soldiers uh, that left the army, that uh, used to leave uh, this mission in, in person. So one of the people we get the interview is, uh, is Aissa, is an ancient soldier who left the army, and she told us the, the story of herself in the army. So this kind of machist uh, uh, milieu is something that is there. So I, I, it was important to say it because it's a film that takes a lot from reality to create a fiction, but the, 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 the base, the first base of the, the movie, of the screenplay is documentary. And I think also this film rearranges some parts of our perception, right? The scene, for example, where the soldiers are singing the na national anthem and suddenly the whole lyrics have a different meaning due to all that we have seen before. So talking about French-German maybe relationships. Your film is also nominated for the German-French Youth Prize Kinema. Uh, so three young people from France and three young people from Germany are the jury to vote for a film and who will finally win. What do you think about a young audience being confronted with a, your movie? But first of all, uh, do, in general, watching movies is, is um, learning something. When I when I showed the movies uh, two weeks ago, we did like a bit uh, of um, of a premiere in uh, in Italy, and people watched the film and seen the subtitles of the national French hymn "Allons enfants de la patrie." That is very cruel, 
and it, they showed me wow they were shocked about the, the, the meaning of that of the what what the words what was the meaning of the words that they used to, to listen but they didn't know the what they mean. So what, what I can say about young people, young people must go to cinema to learn something. Because even if you watch a good or a bad movie, you always learn something. Watching a film, living or just walking in the street, but it's better than uh, video games, maybe. And your film is also nominated for the Audience Award and for the Volkswagen Financial Services Award, which are the two main prizes of this yeah. festival. What are your feelings about that? I, I, I don't... I, I can say, but I just I, I hope the, 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 the jury will not listen to that, but the, the biggest prize for a filmmaker is to show his film to an audience, to travel with his movie, and to, to talk with the, with the audience about his film, to learn something from the audience. So this is the biggest prize for me. Uh, that's it. So then I wish you good Q&As, you'll have them today and the next days. And a nice, nice day at Braunschweig. Thanks a lot.